What's good, everybody? It's your boy D Brown, aka Bruce D Roy. I'm an artist, producer, photographer, and videographer. Here I'm going to teach you a few things like Premiere Pro, Photoshop, FL Studios, and much, much more. So click the link in the description or check out my website. But I love all women because when I'm in your city, I'm going to take one home just to baby me. Then I'm going to make the paparazzi make plays for me just to have a whole world so amazed at me. If you really look at it, we have two different pictures, the fire hydrant, if you've seen my last tutorial with the quick selection tool, but we also have another fire hydrant picture there as well. As we select it, one picture has those little square things that I mentioned in my last video, and the other picture doesn't. It's a before and after. How did you do this, D. Brown? I use the clone tool. That's what we'll be going over today. The clone stamp tool, or you can select S, it looks like a man kind of figure, maybe a mannequin, top half of its body on the left side of the screen. It's uh, under the paintbrush tool. Clone stamp tool, what it does is it literally clones something. So if I have a circle here and a square here, both of these look like circles, but let's do, if I have a peace sign here and a circle here, there we go. Then if I want to clone this circle, I would select the circle with the quick selection tool and clone it wherever I want to, or the peace sign and clone it wherever I want to. It'll be more than one. That's the best I can do. <laughs> you can clone people and stuff like that also. So if we continue, you'll select the clone stamp tool. You can change the size of it, whether it's big or little. You can do that with most of any tool on here. But since we are cloning, this grass actually is what we're about to clone, then you can, you can tell once we get started. The hardiness also, the hardiness, if the more, the bigger you get for hardiness, the more define the edges are decrease it the less defined the edges are me personally i like to keep it to zero or just something really really low if you're cloning something there's something very important that you should know and do you can't clone something by clicking it and just clicking something else you're going to get a pop-up what you do is you hold alt and then you click but you're only alt and clicking something that you want to clone onto something else so if i want to put this piece on somewhere else i have to alt and click it then you can click in other places to actually clone it so as you can tell i'm gradually cloning the grass onto the square things but you can see that the fire hydrant is also getting cloned too. So you don't just want to drag it. So you alt click whatever you want to clone. You go over to whatever you want to clone and you start clicking it. But once you start seeing things that you don't want in there, go back to what you want to clone, alt click, and then go back to what you want, then go back to what you want to clone over. It may be a little tedious, but it's definitely worth it. And if you're not looking, a lot of people won't know that you actually cloned it. So that's the cloning tool for you. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, it's your boy D. Brown, a.k.a. Bruce D. Roy, artist, producer, photographer, videographer. I hope you learned something and enjoy your day and go be the best. You so dope. Uh, Better than a drink in my coat. Uh, More like the tree in my smoke. Uh, if you want to rock this boat, then we can ride out. So So we can't ride you out. So dope, dope. Uh, what? You so dope. You so dope. You so dope. dope. Uh, you so dope. You so dope. You so. Y'all uh. make sure y'all like. Y'all comment, y'all subscribe.
because some funny, some fire stuff is on the way.